you you directed your own movie. You have made a movie. Yes, I have. And it, it's Guardian of the Realm. And you said it was 10 years ago that it came out. Is that right? So give me a little insight into like what what prompted you? Why why make a movie? Why not just be happy? Phone fabricating suits. <laughs> like what? What started was I met Steve Wang. We just cracked each other up. And Steve at the time was shooting a trailer for a movie he wanted to make called Come for Rascals. Uh, I came and said, well, if you ever need any help, I want to, I want to do this. Mm -hmm. And so Steve kind of like threw me a bone, like, well, you know, I need these swords. I need a bunch of like background swords, stunt swords. He goes, just, they don't need to really fight, but they just need a bunch, because I have a bunch of ninjas and I don't need swords. So I was just, boom, I found some acrylic and plastic and I went to a toy store and I bought that plastic handles from these toys, but I made acrylic blades and put bevels on them mm -hmm. and I them and I showed up with them. He was like, wow, this is great, thanks, Ted. And then, well, I need this and I need that. And I would just start making stuff. And he started realizing he could rely on me. Mm -hmm. And then that become a point to where I just got roped in. But long story short, I was inspired. I was like, wow, this is super cool. And I thought, yeah, maybe I'd like to make a movie. Mm -hmm. okay. After doing watching with Steve and like, watching what he went through, yeah. it intimidated him. Oh, I mean, I was okay. like, wow, that's a bit of endeavor. I would make a short. I'm going to start with a short. I should make a short. Mm -hmm. But as the thing, the talk is cheap. And it can, Wrong, but um, uh, I had a script I was developing, and it was this post-apocalyptic cyborg movie thing I wanted to do. And I was developing the story arc was really good, and then turns out a dear friend of mine back in St. Louis uh, came into some money, and he called me uh, called me up, and they were like, "Hey, we have some money, Ted, and we want to invest in you on your project. Are you, do you still want to make a movie?" Yes, I do. and I was like, "Yes, I do." <laughs> and I started realizing, and I started taking the script and breaking it down, uh, and I finally realized my post-apocalyptic cyborg movie was just not the thing to do. Why not? Because when you start adding up the re, because that's a perfect example. You have location, desert. Okay, that's a drive. Mm -hmm, you got to mm -hmm. get it, and you don't have one suit, not two suits. You have three suits, <laughs> and then I had to make this girl, and I had to get a, a girl. I, it was an action pack girl, I was gonna do some fighting. Mm -hmm. and, and her right cybernetic arm, I started like thinking about how I want to do the arm and how just the time it would put in to make this arm. And I, and I started realizing there's the ambitious mm -hmm. and then there's impossible. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm, I look back and I'm so glad I stopped. I said, Look, mm -hmm. I told my They're all like, Well, what, 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 what do you want to do? And I kind of pitched that one and I called them up and said, You know something? Um, I want to do a film, but let's, I got to downsize it. I yeah. got to do something completely different. So, mm. take something that takes place in modern day. Mm -hmm. Something a little bit local. Mm. In, in Los Angeles. In Los Angeles. In the brewery. brewery. Yeah. It's like everything relatively <laughs> close. Yeah. So, no more post apocalyptic wastelands. So, that, so, I thus birthed the film Guardian of the Realm. Mm -hmm. It's about demon hunters in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And I won't, the, my inspiration was a Japanese anime film called Wicked City. Mm. Okay. And I don't know if anybody's seen it. It's really cool. It was, um, it's about, once again, demon hunters. And, and their realm and the story, I think uh, Wicked City was, there's two guardians. There's the guardian on earth and there's a demon guardian. And the demon girl's in charge of keeping it. There's like, there's two characters. One this sounds them. a lot like your movie. <laughs> <laughs> and I laugh because I always tell people that there's people always can say inspired by and you can also say ripped off. Right. But, <laughs> I realized with the story arc, like, there was, and they made a live action version of Wicked City, but it was Chinese, and I saw it, and it was really bad, it was mm -hmm. awful. So what I wanted to do is I just wanted to borrow elements. I didn't want to go crazy, so I just like bits and pieces of things, so I borrowed some yeah. elements from it. And like everybody does, you kind of make your own. Sure. And when making a film, there's a certain point where your film takes a life of its own, and it, uh, it becomes, you do your best to kind of like guide and give your script and your stories and your characters, and, what people bring to it, your actors and your friends. Like Tanya Dempsey? Yeah, Tanya Dempsey and she came in. What people bring to something, it takes off and it becomes something like it's more than what you thought. Hmm. Oh my God, people add things to it. it was, but, um, but yeah, that was what inspired it. That was, uh, was cool. what we could say.